We got two Schindlers HTs. Now the thing I noticed first, two separate call buttons in opposite directions. I'll point out a little something about this elevator. This is actually dead, I think. This whole thing here is dead. If this were wired up, it would activate that. Let's wait for this one. Machine rooms on the other side. Shaft view. There's the door operator up there. Thick uh, panel area. This could be a 321A. Because the RAM is behind there, I guess. Let's get ourselves a cab view. I like the uh, green paneling. This stuff, the uh, wooden stuff, is right over it. 2,500 pound capacity with 125 feet a minute speed. That's a Schindler. It's a HT. That's all I gotta say. MT Fire Service. Upside down Schindler logo. That's uh, interesting. Without further ado, listen to the motor. Let's go ring the bell. Oh, it's over here. That panel is dead over there. ECI interlock. It appears to be dated 2000. I don't know if that's even the date code. It's a tad creaky going down, just like it is going up. I'm not sure why that is. A bit shaky too, actually. Eh. Now let's head back up to three where we'll end the video. And that's going to be it. And some more proof. This would ring the bell down there. It does not. That's what it's supposed to do, pretty much. That's going to be it. Okay, I was right. This is a 321A. See this? The piston is right behind the wall here. So yeah, it's a 321A. And that's why it roars pretty much at this point in the cab. That's it.